You already told me that you loved Quinn. Am I supposed to be shocked to hear you say it again? You just miss it. You don't believe that I loved him. Of course you loved him. You thought that he was me. But any feelings that you had for him were built on the feelings that you and I created together, that we worked together to create. I don't mean to hurt you with this, Robert. I know you don't. And I'm not blaming you for what happened. In a way, I'm not even blaming him. Not entirely. He tried to kill me once. And he couldn't do it. Something in him stopped him. Now, I think it was something good in him somewhere. And if there was something good in him, it's not surprising that you could bring it out in him. I don't want you to be nice about this. I don't want you to understand. I'm not being nice. Believe me, when I saw them take his body out of that house, I wanted more. It wasn't enough. He hadn't been hurt enough. He hadn't paid enough for what he did to me. I know he took you from me. And I know that he was touched by your love. And I know that when you came to in that hospital room and I told you what had happened, you didn't act like somebody who had been duped. You acted like somebody who was in mourning. I'm sorry. But <sighs> mourning can only last for so long. And then you've got to pick up and move on. Well, you don't know everything. I don't know everything. Whatever it is you think I don't know, I'm sure I can handle it. Go ahead. Yeah. I guess I owe you the truth, right? Right. What is it? I'm going to have a baby.